Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to get this situated here. Yay, hi, welcome. Why is this like this? Okay. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's good morning here in Charleston, South Carolina. Welcome. This is Lorraine, your, Lorraine, Lorraine Purcell, your host at Fairy Godmother Monday. Today we're going to be talking about how to unplug. And I'm going to be talking about some really important ways that I have found to unplug, especially that just came to me this morning that I want to share with you. Unplugging is really important. Would you agree? It's super important for our nervous systems. By the way, I'm here every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. And um, on Mondays, as your fairy godmother, I'm here with my crystal ball and my magic wand showing you how to uh, make your own dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibilities. And then Fridays, I'm here uh, just as your trusted guide for body to... Body Talk Friday. Can I talk this morning? Body Talk Friday. Where we tune into our 50 trillion cells. Good morning, sis. Plug into our 50 trillion cells. Consult our body for what it needs to restore and regenerate. What it needs us to eat more of, eat less of, drink more of, drink less of. The kind of activity. What the pains in our body are saying to us. So... Welcome, welcome, welcome. How to unplug, how to unplug. A little bit about myself, 25 years as a former marriage, family, and child counselor. I'm a board certified educational therapist and also I am a um, certified life coach. And that's what I do now is life coaching for women to give them empowerment, especially around business. Because uh, I really believe that women uh, need to express themselves and charge for it so that they can be sustained financially, especially in the world the way it is today. And so I'm all about enabling women to do that. So that's my little shtick. And so how to unplug, super important while we're breathing in white light for, for Mother Earth, breathe it in, top of our head, all the way down through our bodies, 50 trillion cells down into the bottom of our earth, down to the bottom of the earth. Um, Unplugging is super important. Unplugging from technology, unplugging from the world, really, so that we can get ourselves back, call all parts of us back home. And um, some of the ways that I unplug um, and, and be tuning into Mother Earth also in this time, um, seeing what her message is to you, I actually pull the plug. I actually go downstairs and I have a T-Mobile set up where there's a little plug. <laughs> I literally pull the plug when I go to sleep at night so that I don't have Wi-Fi running around my house while I'm sleeping. And then in the morning when I get up, I connect. And it's a bit of a pain because you have to wait for the internet to connect again. But, um, you know, if I do get on my phone without the internet, I'm knowing that I'm on somebody else's internet and they can see what I'm doing. So... Um, I usually will wait. So it puts parameters around the whole, you know, tech addiction. <clears throat> um, also, I always put my phone in airplane mode. Number one, so I don't get texts and wake up in the middle of the night. But also, I don't want extra Wi-Fi floating around because there is or in case I forgot to unplug it in the middle of the night. And um, I have, I listen all night long to uh, Matt Kahn, Abraham Hicks, people that I, I love being enforced by. And uh, I, I have those on voice memos on my phone. So I will take the time to record something. I just did it with Mike Dooley this weekend. Yeah, I think it was Saturday. I recorded uh, about three and a half hours of a training that he did. And I put it on my voice memo so I can listen to it without the Wi-Fi being on. So when you're when you have when you utilize voice memos on your phone, if you have an iPhone, I don't know what the corollary is for you know, the the other kinds, 
but um, there's a voice memo and you just put it down on your computer and you record and you can listen to these wonderful teachings that you want to access anytime without Wi-Fi um, and feed your soul, feed your soul, feed your soul. Because we spend a lot of time on the internet while we're um, trying to find things to make us feel better. So I, I go ahead and record my favorite things on my voice memo and when I go to the Apple store or whatever, there's like, we've never seen anything like this because <laughs> I just have, it takes up most of my phone space is all the different mentors that I have recorded on my phone because I've shared with you guys before, um, when I'm not feeling good, when I'm not feeling up, I want to run to something fast to lift my spirits and remind me of who I am, which is why I do these programs, by the way, the Monday and Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern. So those are some of the things that I do to unplug. Um, the other thing I just, I just noticed this morning, when your brain starts to get just like intense, 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 I, um, I just started saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Not to anything, just to everything. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I can feel my brain start to untangle deep within the core of my skull. So try that if you're, if you're just like, if the pressure is just, and you just can't turn that brain off, just try closing your eyes and just saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. You might put your, head, your hands right here or wherever it's hurting. I love you, I love you, I love you. Or on your heart, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, because when we say I love you, we're connecting to the universe and all that is, which is the source of love. And so we're getting closer to that aspect of ourselves. That might be why it was deeply untangling me. Um, there was another thing, but that will come to me later. Okay, so let's all the way down, all the way down with white light energy. White light energy all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mother Earth. What do you require of us today? What do you require of us today? Mother Earth is saying to me, be unplugged. As much as I can. We definitely need to be plugged in. But whenever you can get away and get unplugged, I highly recommend it. Recommend it? <laughs> I highly recommend it. <laughs> oh my gosh. And begin to set your intention for this week. How, what do you want to, when I say accomplish, I don't mean like the masculine accomplish. I want to just say that by the end of the week, you notice it has, it has gone past you in ease and flow. What do you want to, those of you watching the replay, uh, the largest number of my folks are watching the replay. Bless you for watching the replays. Love you. Um, so write replay in the comments and go along with the prompts that I give you. But what are, um, what do you want to see on Friday that has just gone past you, is done with, and it happened with ease and flow and no sacrifice? Although last week I had a lot of work to do and it was, it was sac sacrifice. But not really because it was something my inner knowing was saying, you better get this together, you better get this together. So not really sacrifice, but it wasn't always comfortable. Let's just put it that way. But, you know, I prefer to have it just be la, 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 ease and flow and back behind you, back behind you, back behind you. <clears throat> um, so what do you desire to have that be? Just kind of uh, set that intention now for your week. So it's super important to unplug. It's important for me because I have an addictive personality to notice when I'm getting addicted to something. 
and to stop it before it gets big. And it happened to me last night. I was, I came back from visiting with my son and grandkids. <clears throat> I, I make Sunday dinner and I bring it over to their house every Sunday. And when I came home, uh, you know, I was tired and I noticed myself going to my, my screen because I've been watching Outlander lately and I'm, I'm, I love Outlander. It's intense, but I love it. And I could see myself just going to it unconsciously. And I just said, nope, that's an addiction. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're getting away from that. So, uh, I just didn't, I just turned everything off and I went to bed and I put my feet up on my wall to let all the blood drain back to my body. And, um, I did some tapping and some meditating and I went to sleep like that. That was just great. So noticing that if you have an addictive personality like I do, what do you just run to without thinking consciously? Be conscious about everything you do. I mean, it doesn't mean examine everything you do, but it just means notice when you're going to something unconsciously, especially if you're going to something to mask or to... Um, you know, maybe a substance to soothe yourself that's not quite beneficial. Okay, so then all the way back up to your body, back up to your feet, quickly go through your body in a counterclockwise spin of white, gold, and pink light. All the way up, 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 all the way up. While we connect to the quantum field. Now the quantum field is always in process. It's always in progress. It's always happening, whether we are aware of it or not. Oh, it's funny. I have this dust. I can see this dust on my desk because of the light coming in. And it's making my nose, just the trigger of seeing the dust is making my nose like I want to sneeze. <laughs> I'm not sure it's really making me sneeze, but just the sight of it is making me want to sneeze. Interesting auto-suggestion, correct? Okay, so the quantum field is always in operation. It's always in operation. It is always, it's like gravity. It's just here. People may not want to hear that, but it is the truth. And so you can do a long song and dance to get into the quantum field. And yes, it would probably accelerate things. But in my mind, I don't have the time or the, hi, Kathy, good morning. I don't have the time or the energy to do that. I just want to know that it's there and access it. So the quantum field, will it, it turns things that are wave. Everything is a wave of possibility. That's why it's called the quantum field of all possibilities. It'll turn whatever is a wave into particle by focusing on it. So just by focusing on something, that's why I'm always saying, what are we focusing on? Because what we focus on will expand. What we focus on will become. It's an immutable law. That doesn't mean other things won't happen too, but that means that we have a really good chance and opportunity to um, alter our lives in a direction that we want by concerted being conscious and being deliberate on what we focus on, what we entertain with our thoughts. Because the thoughts will come, okay? The thoughts will just jing, 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 jing. They're just looking for a vibrational match. Do we entertain it or not? That's the question. So a lot, most of our thoughts are not good thoughts. Most of, it's like the Wild West. It's like, you know, predator. Most of our thoughts are predatory. They're, they're predatory on our innocent being. That's not our fault. What our fault is, if you want to use that word, our responsibility is, are we going to entertain those thoughts? That's our choice. Do we, interta do we entertain, oh my God, 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 or do we entertain finding another thought the deliberate act of finding another thought and dwelling on that. So what do we desire? This is why I'm always bringing us back to what do we desire? What do we desire? Because when we think about what we desire, we feel good, right? And nothing is more important than that we feel good. So 
when we focus on that, when we have clear in our mind what we want, when our desire is like this lighthouse, it's this beacon for us. Now we're being guided. Now we're telling the quantum field deliberately what we want more of rather than just by default. It's a discipline, it's a practice, and in my mind, I must because I am not gonna let my, my life be happenstance. Oh no, <laughs> uh-uh, no happenstance happening over here. And when life throws me stuff, I will as quickly as possible get into being thankful. I will find something, something to be positive about. This is my deliberate choice, my deliberate choice. So because I understand the quantum field and I understand how it works. And if I just slovenly lay on the couch and say, oh God, feed me, I'm not going to get a life that's been deliberate. My life is deliberate. <laughs> My life is absolutely deliberate. I know what I want. And so I will, I have notes all over my house reminding me of who I am and where I'm going. How about you? I do not leave it to chance because if I didn't have these reminders around, I would forget. So with that, the quantum field always being in operation. The better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets. If you're in a funky mood and you start cussing people out, you notice that things go in a downward spiral and the worse it gets, the worse it gets, the worse it gets, the worse it gets. This is law. This is the quantum field in, in, in action. So what do you desire? What do you desire? What is your desire? What is your true desire? What is your true desire? And let's take that into the quantum field, meaning it's just all around us. It's happening. We're 99.9999999% energy. Only 0.000001% matter. Everything else is what the quantum field has um, manifested from our thoughts from our dwelling. So what is your desire? What is that thing that you want? What do you want? And just feel it right now. The universe understands our feelings more than anything. So our thoughts lead to emotions. Those emotions are from chemicals that our body has made in response to the thoughts that we're entertaining. So if we're not feeling good, you can know that you have uh, let a thought, you, a thought has come into your mind, which the thoughts just come into our mind, but then the entertaining has created more and more and more of this chemical soup in our body. And uh, that is what the quantum field is responding to, the feelings. That's what universe, you can call it universe. That's what the universe is responding to. So when we feel good, we're like, yeah, more of that. When we're not feeling good, we want to find something that makes us feel good fast. <laughs> because otherwise it's just a downward spiral. And we, it's always within our control to move it in another direction. It's always within our control to move it in another direction. But I've just learned, because I spent so much of my life in depression, that I just don't want to go there. I, I paid my dues. Don't need, don't need that. No, thank you. So it's your fairy godmother. I'm looking into the crystal ball, and I'm telling you, isn't that gorgeous? I'm telling you that your dreams will come true as you practice this. This is the work. This is the work. Cinderella's fairy godmothers did not just say, okay, you just sit over there on the couch, sweetheart, and we're going to handle everything. They're like, no, you get the pumpkin, you get the mice, you got to get this dress together. And so she was busy. She was hustling. And that's what we have to do. So this is the hustle, though. This is the hustle. It's being aware of the thoughts, being aware mostly of the feelings. The feelings is what we need to be aware of. The actual thought, you may get some awareness on it, maybe not. But it's the feeling. And if you don't like how you're feeling, find something to make you feel better. 
So it's your fairy godmother, this dream. Because when you think of your dreams, you feel good, right? It's what you've been desiring. So, ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Just feel it, feel it, feel it. You can just have your dream be to be happy. To uh, have the life that you desire. Just feel the feeling of you just having the life that you desire without the particulars. Just relax into it. Just feel it. Just feel how good. And that feel good, you will get more and more and more feel good coming to you. Mm. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. So we practice this here on Monday so you can get... This is the, a good addiction. You can get addicted to this feeling and know then when you alter from it. When you, when you alter from it. <laughs> alter from it, yeah. Just feel how good, feel how good, feel how good, feel how good. Mm. Yes, your dream will come true. As you dwell on these good feelings, think on these things, dwell on the good feelings, dwell on the good feelings. Make this your new identity. This person that has these things, this person who is this, how does she dress? How does she act? What does she drive? What does she eat? What does she do with her time? This is what you're gonna spend your time dwelling on and being as if, acting as if, not faking it till you make it, which is the masculine model, but being as if, being as if, being as if. Yes, 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 yes. And continue practicing this feeling while I draw a card from Rebecca Campbell. I really like that we're doing this now all the time. I love her cards. I love her insights. Okay, that fell out. What in here is ours? Second from the top. Mm, star ancestors. Star ancestors. Hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. Mm. I don't recall ever, ever pulling that open. I opened right to star. Not the first one. Star Ancestors. The ancients knew much more than we do about our connection with the stars. Their pyramids, temples, and other places of worship created in precise alignment with the stars exist in all corners of the world. What if this ancient wisdom is available for you to uncover now? You're being called to think and listen with your ancient heart and soul. To tap into the part of you that remembers and knows. All ancient secrets are whispered forever in your ears. All mystic knowing blooms in your heart. All potent power pumps through your vein, veins. You're being invited to step into your ancient knowing, to be held by the rememberings of the, of the star ancestors, to look a little deeper. If you're feeling stuck, you're being called to do something different, to create, I'm sorry, to change your point of view. Creativity happens when you put together two things that don't belong. Creativity happens when you put together two things that don't belong. When we do the unexpected, so often a creative so often a creative solution is right in front of us. But because we think the same thoughts and act the same way, we miss what's in the open. Hmm, interesting. You're here to remember and uncover ancient secrets and transmissions, technology and wisdom that are so needed on the planet right now to unlock your soul's memory of a time when we lived in harmony on earth and one day will again. Starseed activation. 
place the card on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. I'm gonna do this for you. And this is the card. So imagine that this is on your chest. I am ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. I am ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. Sorry, my nose is running from that, the vision of the dust on my desk. <laughs> my nose started running from that, it's crazy. Okay, for more of my work, go to www.lorraineppurseell forward slash heal, H-E-A-L, the number four, biz, B-I-Z. I help women entrepreneurs express themselves fully and charge for their gifts so that they can sustain their businesses and overcome all the unworthiness that goes along with that, <laughs> that, that phew, surfaces. So go and check that out. We're really excited. We're getting ready to launch in a big way. And um, so I invite you to go to that page and check out what's going on. And um, on Friday, for Body Talk Friday, we will be discussing clearing negative energy. How do we clear negative energy and keep ourselves clean, 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 clean spiritually? And what is your intention for the week? What is your intention for the week? My intention for the week is to be in ease and flow and get my shit together because I still have some stuff to do. Be in ease and flow while keeping my shit together. So be in ease and flow while getting my shit together. I write it on a card and I put it on my computer so I can't miss. Yes. So keep your intention in mind. On Friday, we'll check in and see how you did with your intention. And until then, I'm just wishing you love and peace. Many, many blessings. Let's just send a blessing out to the planet right now. May all beings be blessed. 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 Be blessed. Light and love in every corner of the planet. So much love, so much love, so much love, so much love. Love illuminating every wall and every house and every road in every country. Every molecule of water, every animal be blessed. Every grain of sand be blessed. Every blade of grass be blessed with light and love. And may all hearts be open to receive love. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you Friday, if not before. Mm -hmm. Bye for now.